Morning motivators, as I am riding trails, basically fully lost, I figure what better opportunity to introduce one of the biggest updates that we've ever had for the My Motive training app. We have all endurance race training, running, cycle cross, road racing, swim run, duathlon, trail running, ultra endurance events are all now in the My Motive training app beyond the triathlon training that we've had for the past few years. It's good and it's really, really good. Salvation, yes. Let's get lost again though. So let's say that you are a super pumped endurance athlete. You don't wanna just dabble in one thing. You wanna try all the things. You might wanna do bike races or ultra trail runs. Maybe you wanna throw in a marathon bookended by a sprint triathlon and a half Ironman. Historically, that has been really, really hard to accomplish. Either you have to be self-directed to have the flexibility and knowledge to piece it together yourself or have a one-on-one -on -one coach. People who were using online training systems or templated training plans couldn't actually do that until now. Whoa, speed bump. Now I'll save you from this being just a 10 minute advertisement of our app because I recognize not everyone is going to use our app. What I wanna talk about today is how you can effectively mix and match different types of endurance events into your training plan. How do you create that training plan that allows you to go between different events in endurance sports effectively without overtraining or without coming to a race and not actually having done the work to do a good job. We're gonna do that right after I'm done with this fantastically beautiful bike ride. About how to explain how to start mixing and matching all different types of races. I'm gonna start out with just some really, really broad strokes and then I'm gonna show you the pictures. The first is that when you aren't in a race season, you should have a baseline of training that keeps you ready and healthy to race and gear up for any race. So in the mode of training app, what we do is anywhere from about five to nine hours a week comprising of a lot of low intensity training to make sure that your cardiovascular system is in a good state and you're not overtrained so that you can build up when a race season comes. A lot of strength train to make sure that you are muscularly and physically strong enough to be able to handle a big training load. And then to make sure that you aren't just starting with no speed at all, we do have very short intense bursts of anywhere from like 10 to 60 seconds with big rest. This is going to allow you to be as strong and fast as possible, hit those top ends, and then when a race preparation phase comes around, you start honing that. So that's the baseline year round training. Then when you start getting into a race preparation phase, the duration that this takes, it depends on how long the race is. So for a 5K race, could be as little as eight weeks, even if you wanna do really well. For an Ironman, we recommend somewhere around six months, gradually building up. But that training plan, comes in and takes over the baseline train. The baseline training structure goes out the window, the training plan structure comes in. And this could be anywhere from, again, still as little as six hours a week, all the way up to 15 hours a week on average for an Ironman. Then how you combine the different disciplines between running races and triathlons and duathlons and trail runs and cycling events, is I'll give you two really big guidelines. The first one is that the race with the largest number of disciplines structures your training week. So for example, if you have a duathlon and a triathlon scheduled at the same time, the triathlon has three disciplines, swim, bike, run. The duathlon has bike and run. So the triathlon with the three disciplines ends up taking precedent and your training week is determined by the triathlon. If you have, let's say, triathlon and marathon, again, triathlon has three disciplines, so your week is structured for triathlon training. But then how you match these different disciplines is by during the week, we say Monday to Friday, you're doing general fitness training. The workouts are fairly short and they don't change too much from discipline to discipline. These are really just to make sure your VO2 max is high, you're keeping a really nice frequency, you're reminding your body how to adapt to endurance training, and the weekend is where you do your very specific training. 
The weekend workouts are determined by the longest distance discipline that you have. So this is gonna sound super complicated, but it's gonna make sense in a second. Okay, so here's an example of a long course duathlon and a half marathon. We see here that the baseline training gets overtaken by the specific race plans when a race plan starts. We have an off season that's built in, but then when a race plan comes in, it's determined by what I said. While you're training for the long course duathlon, you've got the duathlon training plan that happens in here. But then when we have the overlap of the two plans between the duathlon and the half marathon, we have a duathlon training week, but the long run is pulled from the half marathon. We still definitely take the taper that's appropriate for a long course duathlon. We take some recovery. After you come back from the recovery, boom, you pick up where the half marathon training plan would be and you're not under prepared for it because you've been doing the long run half marathon training for the long run here. Then it switches over to the half marathon, you take your taper, you have your race and your recovery. Next scenario, let's say we just flip those around. We have a half marathon and then a long course duathlon after. Prior to that race of the half marathon, you're gonna do half marathon training. Everything is going to be half marathon training. Then when the duathlon training plan starts overlapping, your week is going to be a duathlon training week, but your long run is still going to be the half marathon long run. You're gonna take your taper so that you aren't under rested for your half marathon, take your race, take your recovery so you're not under recovered, and then boom, get right back into full duathlon training plan. Over here, the week is gonna look like specifically run training. Over here, it's going to look like duathlon training. Next scenario, here we have something a little more common, a half Ironman followed by a marathon. It's going to obviously again, replace the off season and the base building season when it's the training plan. We're gonna have training that looks like triathlon training here, but then during this time that there's overlap, it's going to be a half Ironman training week with a marathon main run. The long weekend run is going to be determined by the marathon run to make sure that yes, you are getting all of your triathlon training, so you're not underprepared for a race, but you're getting all of that long run specific training, so you're not underprepared for the marathon that's gonna come. Take your taper, take your recovery after, and then pick up with marathon specific training and your week looking like a marathon training plan thereafter. Next scenario here, and we are almost done, but I think you're getting the idea is that we switch this around where the marathon comes before the half Ironman. We have marathon specific training here. Then when there's an overlap, we have a half Ironman training week, but the marathon main run so that again you aren't getting under prepared for either of the races you're taking a taper you're taking a recovery so that you can always mix and match all of these different races final scenario that you'll see is an ultra trail run this is where somebody's doing a really long run and this is the main part of their season but they want to just throw a short little event in the middle there well during that time, during the short event, we have the swim run training week because that has more disciplines than the running, but the main run on the weekend is determined from the ultra trail run. So I hope this kind of explains what you end up doing. You end up taking the structure of the week. What you do day by day is determined by how many disciplines, the largest number of disciplines is of the races that you have on your schedule. Then your longest workout of the week, the long bike, the long run, the long swim, whatever it might be, is determined by the longest distance of the single sport disciplines that you have. I know it's kind of complicated and it should be, like this has taken us seven or eight months to create in the app. But it's really cool what we've done. We've partnered with some awesome coaches. Dylan Johnson for the cycling plans, Libs Matthews for the duathlon plans, Nicholas Ramirez for the swim run plans, and run free training. Ryan Hall, the Olympians run coaching company, Cody, the coach from their company, wrote the run training plans. We've done all of this with some of the best coaches in the world in the mode of training app and figuring out how to make sure that they all go together like this has been a ton of work. 
and it's really, really cool to see that people can mix and match and go on whatever endurance adventures they want. Now, if you wanna go check out that app, you can go to app.mymotive.com, check it out for free for 14 days, throw whatever you want at it, mix and match, as many different events as you want. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It's all just included in the base price of the app of 57 bucks. So that's it for now, motivators. If you wanna go check that out, link is in the description below and hopefully this helped you out. If you have no desire to ever try that app, totally cool with me, but hopefully this helps you out in all of your training. Later, motivators.